Good morning from Pumba and me. Don't worry, James E's here too. He's just got a lot of reading to get done this morning. Right? Yeah. The trick with Pumba is to always have a toy at the ready. Um, so that James E can just read in peace. We have Pinocchio on this morning, and it's another dreary day here in Chicago. Oh, but James and I are gonna get outside today, and we might just set up our P.O. box. Jamesy and I are on the move this afternoon. It is below 60 degrees, so my eyes are watering. Um, we are headed to Walgreens first um, to pick up a couple of pictures for part of Jamesy's first birthday party decorations, um, and just a couple of odds and ends, and then we are going to head into the loop to open the P.O. box. I have all the paperwork ready. They will not deny me today. Alrighty, we have made it to the post office in the loop. This is where we're gonna have our P.O. box. Everywhere else is just like a little out of the way and we are always down here. So we figured we might as well just have it downtown. James is gonna have a bottle and hopefully there's not too long of a line. This is a famous flamingo statue. Just a casual piece of artwork to have outside of your post office, you know. All right, I'm almost to Walgreens. Gonna get my COVID booster shot and maybe a flu vaccine. I don't have to see if they have it available. I put it on my schedule or two, but it's a like request. So it's not confirmed just yet. So I'm doing a Moderna. So I think they called a cocktail because I had the Johnson & Johnson initial shot and now I'm doing the Moderna booster. Um, so it should be quick and easy, hopefully just like last time. And then I'm gonna go downtown and meet Sarah and James. Alrighty, I'm gonna make sure the key works. Ooh, okay. Let's find it. Let's see. Where are you? It's an easy number to remember. We must be close. It's 11.99. You guys know I'm bad with locks. But it works, I got it. Awesome, so that key works. And the second key works, fabulous. Okay, and that is all situated. There are a couple of specific instructions as far as like packages versus letters go. I'm gonna look over the packet and try to spell it out as best as I can in the description. It'll always be in the description moving forward. I just wanna make sure I make total sense of it because it's just a little bit different, I suppose, as far as like the zip code and like a mailing address versus the PO box because UPS and FedEx there's like it's just not like as easy as like something coming from USPS so I'm gonna go over it with Peter and have us like just make more sense of it and it'll all be in the description um, we've been meaning to do that since I don't know March um, so it's great that that is finally done thank you to everyone who has asked and who is like kind enough to even think to send us anything um, yeah it's all situated in the description below Jamesy is a and I think I'm gonna go look for a winter coat for him. All right, I'm at the Belmont station here. Got both my shots, my flu vaccine and my booster. Waiting for the train to go meet Sarah and James. It is a beautiful day out. Our first stop is Primark. And I mean, it already looks really promising. So that was successful. Primark is so affordable. I actually ended up getting two coats. I'll show you everything when we get home. But Peter is meeting up with me now on State Street. I'm actually going to 
to go into Walgreens because even though I'm pregnant, I am on the hunt for the Red Bull holiday drink like flavor. It's pomegranate, which is my favorite. So I might have a sip just to try it. Uh, but I'm gonna get it for Peter if I can. Our Walgreens didn't have it, but I know it's out there. So I'm gonna check here. 100 years ago, the Chicago Theater opened, had its first performance, celebrating 100 years. Look who joined us. Who are you looking at? Strangers. <laughs> it's beginning to look <laughs> a lot like we're, oh, we're in Macy's, AKA Marshall Fields. And we're here to see if Holiday Lane is a fluke like it was years when we ago. first, yeah, years ago and when we first moved back. I don't know, right now? Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. <laughs> look at that. I just decided we're going Christmas decor shopping. Look, the, we're gonna change. look at that comfy bed. We're, do, we're getting that right now. We're going to put it on our bed tonight. <gasps> look at the Frango. We're buying Frango slip boxes. Oh right. my god. So when we were here before, we think the fake Holiday Lane was in this little box. So maybe that's another good sign that upstairs <laughs> is the real deal. Sarah Gun Prime. Wow. 50% off. Quiet force technology. Mm-hmm. I cannot take them. We need at least two sets. We finally found the glasses Sarah had been searching for. For literally years, <laughs> flat, narrow, glass, what, glass cups. They don't match our stuff. That's why I only want to get four because I feel like they're like fancy drink cups. Like I don't think we need a set for guests. I think these are just like. But we need. A set. We need two. Well, how about we get a short set and a big set? Mm, let's tuck off the log. Okay, we're on the seventh floor, and there's no Christmas stuff. Christmas cards. We try to get ours from here. Ooh, Santa's tree lighting truck. That's cool. The biggest Jim Shore we've ever seen. I need some scale. It's huge. Yeah. Uh, positively overwhelmed by Santa's nice list this year. What? Here's North Pole Radio. And the nice list has been growing. How much music? Okay. This was like the new holiday line. Right. This had been here before. But it's not our original like high school age. Right. Holiday. Even like as recent as like 2016. The, the real deal holiday lane was there. Yeah. I mean, this is still lovely. The first great tree was delivered and set up overnight in the store in December of 1907. Walt Disney was six years old then. Very cool. We are having lunch at the Walnut Room this Christmas season. We haven't been there in a long time. Luck or no luck? No luck, but we did find the famous Tiffany Dome. Yep. There's Pretty gorgeous. Blog that seven years ago today, you came here to try on your wedding dress. I did not. I put it on our Instagram story though. Seven Peter years surprised ago today. me with a gift in the room. Snuck over here during in between classes in college. Mm -hmm. Fao shorts is back. Ayo. Macy's, which is cool. Um, but honestly, I didn't think we would find as much as we did. No, we just this didn't. This is a lot more Christmas than I thought. Right. We just didn't find like the OG holiday lights. Okay, we've, we've fallen down the rabbit hole this evening, and now we're thinking about buying a bedroom set. Aye, aye, aye. And we made a friend named Ivy, who's apparently our sales representative today. Yes. <laughs> I mean, honestly, we've seen a lot of workers and not a lot of customers. So I'm sure they're just like... Ready to go. To talk to people. What did you say? 
Hey. Hey. Hi, we're done in our unexpected bedroom shopping. And we're at this place called Urban Space Chicago, which is like a food hall with all these different like local venues, restaurants. Oh. He has something to tell you. the world. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So Peter is off going to situate what he's ordering. I got Isla Filipino. I bet Peter just took the same shot holding James. Um, but I was quite overwhelmed by all of the options. Everything looks so good. I wonder if I can like find a list. I'll put a list of all the different restaurants and like links to their website in the description. So if you're interested, you can look it up. James is drinking the water. Um, but there's Indian, there's Mediterranean, there's total like plant-based comfort food, there's fried chicken, there's pizza, there's burgers, there's Mexican, there's donuts. There's so much inside of here. Um, Really cool space, really nice location. It's right on um, Washington, across from like pretty close to like Block 37. Oh, and then there's sushi in the middle, as well as like a bar setting. So yeah, this is like how it's set up. Kind of just like an upscale food court, like a food hall. Got my first hot sake right now with dinner. I also ordered a plant based sandwich from over there. Right, here's my sausage grinder from the plant based shop. Looks good. That was what I was looking at. Though. Really? You want some, James? Um. First up are these egg rolls. They look like the egg rolls that one of my family members brings to family parties. So I'm pumped. That's what I was going for. Or hoping for. And then I got steak with rice and vinegar to dip it in. It is called tapa. Alright, it worked out that I went to go order hot sake and I also ordered a, a sushi roll. Mm -hmm. But the sushi roll came way later so Sarah had no... She was not suspecting whatsoever. It sounds like did you get sushi? And it's veggie. Yep. So it's got hot soy sauce on it. It's very good. Very good, yeah. All this was really good. Oh my gosh. That steak was just We're coming like back here. Straight up steak and you dipped it in this vinegar and it was so good. What did you think? <laughs> Success. Thank you to my friend Sammy who told me that they were at 7-Eleven and Meyer, if you're interested. We'll see if Peter wants to drink it tonight or we might wait until tomorrow. I just want to sip. That's all I ask. So we are home. Peter just took the dogs out. Um, we did end up getting like a full bedroom set for Christmas, which we've done in the past. Um, I'm super, super excited about it. But we are going to hold off until November 1st because we do, as much as we like Christmas year round, like I have, Olaf's frozen adventure on right now. Um, I truly do want to like close out Halloween and then we'll go full throttle Christmas as far as like decorations and stuff go. So that reveal will be Monday. We got home a very special delivery. It was here is Andrew McMahon's new book, Three Pianos, a Memoir. So cool. He's had like so many chapters of his music and like obviously they correlate with his life and our life really. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna read it first. So Peter is out on a late run. I am finishing up the vlog editing. Um, excuse my lips. I I get so dry here, so chap here in the colder months. Um, so I just have to get in the habit of moisturizing again, but they're struggling. Um, but I realized that all of James's clothes that I got are in his room with him. So we will have to show those tomorrow. Um, lots of cute stuff. The struggle was I had put away everything that was like below 12 months and all his new 12 month clothes were basically like 
fall clothes, winter clothes, and we're going to Florida. So I went to Old Navy and got some sale items and actually it was pretty successful. And then he got some winter coats and a couple of Christmas things. So I will show you that tomorrow. And I feel like there was something else I was gonna say. Oh yeah, I have a dentist appointment tomorrow and I really want us to get in the swing of just going to like routine checkups and just keeping like our health in like good standings that way. Um, and so I'm just trying to like go through everything and like make sure we get everything done. So I, this is what I have is just like a normal doctor, like checkup like a physical, um, dentist, dermatologist, eye doctor, um, for me an OBGYN and like, is that, is that it? Are those like all of the routine things? If there's anything I'm missing, please comment below. He's back. I'm back. Are you ready for wine and dine? Uh, uh, mentally, yes. <laughs> Physically, I could use a week of better eating and running more. Well, you got a week. <laughs> That's why I like <laughs> that doesn't have me like we leave a week from tomorrow. I haven't even thought about that. Wow. Yeah. Um I forgot like how knocked out I was with the first vaccine. Yeah. I'm in a bad night. Yeah. From what I've been hearing, like it's not that bad this is with the booster. Yeah. But my arm hurts more. Mm. I don't know if it like hit different or because I got a flu back shot too. Yeah. That like I got both in the same spot. I don't know. My arm is sore, but overall I feel good. Okay. I'm fine. I hope it, I mean, you did get it later, but yeah. hopefully the night is good. Yeah, we'll know by morning. Yeah, it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.